In our topology, we have three sites, Tokyo with site ID 11, Paris with site ID 70, and San Jose with site ID 21. In each side, we have one VH router that is connected to two transport cloud, MPLS and Metro, and behind each VH router, we have one CSR, and you can see the loopback IP address of it. And I want to show you how to give privilege to a transport cloud. As you can see, we have one VH router that's connected to two clouds. One is MPLS and the other one is Metro. In default condition, we will advertise from both clouds. Now, yeah, we advertise from, from VH router to both clouds. And now in destination, we have also another VH router and we will receive both routes from MPLS and from Metro. So imagine that this one is in Paris site and in destination we will receive Paris route from MPLS and from Metro. Now we want to make privilege to one of the path. In our scenario, Metro is better one and the priorities for Metro, for Metro Link. So when someone from Tokyo, this is Tokyo, when someone from Tokyo want to reach Paris, the first path is Metro and if it fails, it will goes and redirect to MPLS. So our first choice is Metro for reaching Paris route. Now we are going to Paris VH router and I want to show you the output of show IP route. Show IP route 192.168.70 oh no 70 is not correct 21.100.32 which is San Jose route and you can see we have two path from Metro and from MPLS. So as you can see in the picture, yeah, the San Jose is advertising road in MPLS and in Metro Cloud, so I can reach both of them. So let's go to San Jose VH. Show IP route 192.168.70.100 slash 32, which is Paris route. Okay, we have also two paths here, and let's go to Tokyo VH. Show IP route 192.168.70.100.32, and again, we have both roads from MPLS and from Metro. Now we are going to change the preference for transport cloud and make MPLS worse than Metro. So I will give a priority of two to MPLS and priority of one to Metro. So Metro Cloud will be our first choice. So for Tokyo to reach Paris, we have two choice. First is Metro Cloud and the second one is MPLS cloud and I will do it with T log attribute and the attribute that I want to use in this example is carrier so I will change everything based on carrier carrier can act as label so I will give MPLS carrier one label and Metro carrier two so show interface to check out GE01 is MPLS and G02 is Metro. So I will go to VPN0 and interface G01 under the tunnel interface and carrier carrier one. This is like a tag. So for MPLS, carrier one. This is a tag for MPLS cloud. I, I mean MPLS cloud. So now I will go to interface 
G0 slash 2 on the tunnel interface and I will carrier carrier 2 and this one is for metro cloud this is our metro cloud this is only tank so don't forget that carrier 2 for metro carrier 1 for MPLS let's just do the verification so let me commit okay now show running config VPN 0 so check out interface G01 is carrier 1 G02 oh, is let's go to we manage so first step is going to create a policy so in configuration menu choose policy so click on group of interest I will click T lock then next so in topology choose add and then select custom control route and t-lock so we have to give a name and description this is mandatory okay priority by carrier and a description make carrier stack okay first is default action this is by default reject so I have to edit it and make it accept so the default action should be accept then choose a sequence type and I will choose T lock because I wanna match everything based on T lock attribute so sequence number and then carrier which is a T lock attribute okay I will choose carrier 1 which means MPLS and in action I will select accept and then give a preference so I will give preference 100 to carrier 1 now add another sequence and then carrier 2 an action accept and give a preference so 50 no because higher preference is better so I will give 200 to carrier 2 which means 200 to metro and 100 to MPLS so save it check out the name and then next okay next year this is very important part because here we are applying the policy to site and VPN so give a name give a description inbound Paris by inbound I mean inbound from Paris VH to VSmart because this is based on VSmart so inbound is Paris inbound to VSmart so the direction is in the site is Paris and then save it don't forget this is point of view of VSmart right now it's not activate so I will go and activate and we'll push it to our VSmart okay then activate wait for some seconds let's go to verify that in San Jose show IP wrote 192.168.70.100.32 look we have only metro here there is no more MPLs because it has more preference so I will go to Tokyo we edge and do the same thing show oh sorry let's uh, yeah copy this command exactly the same thing metro Ethernet only to check out what type of preference do I receive show MPT locks receive detail so preference this is not this is for another site okay the yeah this is our our output so check out here carrier one this is originator which is 172.27.0 slash 17 which is originator or system IP of uh, Paris carrier 1 preference 100 carrier 2 preference 200 so it's different than route preference this is T lock preference so carrier 2 is 200 site ID is 70 and also same thing in Paris show control local show control local property to see the, what is the originator what is the site id 
site ID 70. That's for just verification. And what's the system IP? Okay, 7227070. Check out here. Exactly the same originator. And I will receive preference 200, but preference 0 for other sites, other originators. So our rule is working very, very fine. Check out the San Jose CSR. This is a CSR, so I can ping it without an issue. Ping 192.168.70.100, and everything works fine. Okay. Can you see? Good. So let's go to policy. I want to deactivate it and check again. In San Jose, now I receive MPLS as well. All equal. MPLS is equal to Metro. Again here, same thing. MPLS and Metro. So I have two pad. Now I want to show you something very cool. So I will go to vManage and then go into policy and I want to edit that policy. Okay. I will remove the inbound direction of Paris site. And I will add outbound list site and I will choose only San Jose. So the, the policy is right now applied to San Jose site only and is outbound direction from VSmart to San Jose. Okay, let me activate the rule. Just wait for some seconds. Now I expect that I will see only one route in San Jose and two route and two path in Tokyo. Let's go for verification. So let me go to San Jose, check the same route. And yes, we have only Metro and going to Tokyo with the same route, I have MPLs and Metro because the rule applied to San Jose site only, but it doesn't affect Tokyo. Okay, I hope you enjoy it. Thank you.